everybody. Just gonna find you all on my iPad. see if I can find you. Okay, I found us, there we are. Let's make a little start. Sorry, I was a few minutes late. One of the girls called me back in just to say goodnight, so I made a little mad dash back through the garden. Um, so welcome to everyone for my last live of this week. Um, not quite sure where this week has gone, um, but Back to school tomorrow, the uniform is out, the pack lunch is done, the alarm is set and I'm ready, I think. I don't know about Florence, she said today she was a little bit nervous, a little bit excited but a little bit scared so we'll see what the morning brings. But thank you so much for joining me this evening. I'm starting to feel like I've got a little bit of a cold coming so um, you have to bear with me tonight. Um, lots of people saying hello, it's so nice to have lots of people on um good evening i hope you've all had a nice weekend so tonight this week i've been showcasing the new butterfly bouquet i struggle to say that for some reason the new butterfly bouquet collection which is just amazing so i thought we'd finish up the week with the butterflies um and i've gone i've done something a little bit different not quite my style tonight and i hope you like it so we will make a start i hope you're sitting comfortably um, and let's have a little chat and a bit of a craft. So just turn my camera around and we can make a start. Okay, so you should all be able to see my desk. I hope you can anyway. Let's just see if I can see what you can see. And you can, right, so. I thought I'd do something a bit different tonight and I'd get a bit inky. It's very brave of me. And I've actually cased this technique from another demonstrator by the name of Michaela Titheridge. Um, I saw her demonstrate this at Christmas and it's been in my in my pocket to, to, to try for a little while and I've finally given it a go tonight. So believe it or not, this is all grey cardstock apart from this lovely white butterfly and our bit of embossing. So I'm going to show you how I've done that. Um... I've pre-cut some things in advance, um, but yeah, let's get started. So, using my trimmer, and I need to give my trimmer a little bit of a clean, and my hands, I was doing something really inky earlier, and I'm a bit of a mess, so bear with me. I've got a grey granite card base, um, and that just measures 10 and a half centimetres by the length of an A4, okay? And then I've got another piece for the top, which is actually just half a centimetre smaller which is 14.4 centimetres by 10 centimetres okay and so that's what we're going to need to start with and I'm going to be using Knight of Navy and Pretty Peacock ink and I'm going to use my blending brushes for this so I'm going to start with my Pretty Peacock ink pad. And Pretty Peacock is one of our 2019 to 2021 in colours, which means that after May this year, it will be redundant. It's retiring, so we won't be able to get that anymore. Um, so if you, it's one of your favourites, which is one of mine, um, make sure you stock up on your ink pad, your cardstock and your reinkers before then. Um, so yes, we are using Pretty Peacock. And I'm simply adding some ink to my blending brush, tapping off any excess because you don't want to get too inky all at once. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my blending brush really gently to this piece of grey card. And I think that colour is just lovely together. Those two colours are lovely together. So I'm just going to build up that ink around the edge. Lots of people on tonight. Wow. There can't be much good on TV, can there? I actually have no idea what's on TV on a Sunday night. 
because I'm always with you guys. I'm just building up that colour. I find the trick with these blending brushes is to just go in really small circles. And that's building up really nicely. And then you want to pull that colour in a bit further now. The Great Pottery Throwdown. Well, that sounds exciting. What's that about, Denise? Not heard of that one. Okay, so that's starting to come together. Just going to go around once more. Just bringing that ink in a little bit further. And I want it so there's almost a bit of a highlight in the centre of that card. People throwing pots! Are you serious? It's the semi-final. That sounds right up my street. I could get on board with that. I need to go on that show. I might have to look that up. Okay, and this makes a really pretty pattern on your grid paper as well. So that's coming together very nicely. Loving this effect, Stacey. Thank you, Sharon. I really like it as well. Okay, so there we have a real highlight in the centre. And actually, I'm just going to bring that in a little bit more. better like so so it looks a bit moody doesn't it quite like how moody that looks so we've done with our pretty peacock so we can put that to one side and now I'm going to use the Knight of Navy so Knight of Navy is one of our neutral colours and it is one of my favourite colours and this just brings it all together I think so I'm just going to carefully go around the edge now and it just adds to the moodiness, if that's even a word. Okay. Love the Great Pottery Showdown. I'm definitely going to have to look this up. I feel like I've missed out if they're on the um, semi-final already. Or is it a bit like MasterChef where you're almost in the semi-final straight away, it feels like. These colours look lovely together, don't they? Look at that pattern on my grid paper. So that's just darkening those edges. This is about week seven. Oh, I am behind. Okay, so I think I am happy with that. So you can see now you've got a real moodiness to that and those two inks are blended together really, really nicely. I'm just going to put a bit more in that corner. Like so. What do you think? Let me know what you think. Okay, someone's put... Night of Navy really makes it... I think so. It really just brings it all together, doesn't it? Um, and then someone else has put stand up to cancer bake off starts on Tuesday. Oh, can't watch that, makes me cry. Definitely can't watch things like that anymore, but I love the idea and the sentiment behind it. So we have our piece of moody cardstock now, and then I'm going to use my stamping cut and emboss machine. I'm just going to drag that over. And in these brilliant wings dies, you have this little die. Can you see it? It's just like lots of little dots. 
Oh, my chair is so squeaky. So let's bring in our dye machine. Now, I'm going to use the big fella tonight because my piece of card is too wide to go in the mini. Okay. So in here, I'm going to pop that on. And what did I do with my dye? It's just underneath. So this dye here, I'm just going to pop on randomly on our piece and just wheel it through. Oops, my ink pads are behind. Need a bigger desk. I have a bigger desk, but I don't use it. Still, really. And then what that leaves is that leaves this little just cut out dots. So it's a bit like my favourite speckling technique, but it's with a dye. Cute. So I'm just going to run that back through again and I want one of those at the bottom as well. So I'm just going to pop that down there. Joanna, yes, I completely agree with you. No matter what size desk we have, it's never big enough. No, absolutely not. I think never a truer word has been spoken. So let's take this piece off. So this just adds a little bit of detail to our card without much effort. Really, doesn't it? So then now, if we take a piece of white card, and I'm going to trim this down a little bit. I'm just going to put my dye out of the way. Hi to you, Monique. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to trim this down so it's just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to take that to nine and a half centimetres. And give it a turn and take it to 13.9 centimetres. So now, when we put that underneath our piece, those lovely white dots kind of pop through. And I think that's really sweet. Okay, so now you'll see that I've actually added a little bit of heat embossing to one. I should have done that first, I'm not going to lie. I should have done my heat embossing first. So I'm just going to give this a little rub over. And I'm not going to do much of this because we will get into a bit of a pickle. I have this... Um, stamp here so it's a bit like I don't know wood slats and it comes from the comfort and hope stamp set which is a really nice background set um, it is in the main catalog okay so I've used my embossing buddy on there you can see because look my embossing buddy is now blue and then we want to heat emboss so I'm just gonna add a little bit of this I didn't do it first and let's do this about there okay so you can't really see that on there which is good and then now we can take our embossing powder give that a little yeah so that's not worked greatly but that's fine we can remedy that now I just take my paintbrush and I'm going to wipe all that excess off. It's because there's the card is now kind of damp with the ink, so that's why the embossing powder is stuck. That's better. Okay, so that shouldn't make too much, shouldn't look too bad. So yes, a little tip there, always emboss first. I forgot that. But never mind. So then now we can bring in our heat tool, which I think we turned off at the wall. That's just what we want, isn't it? 
Yes, I have. I pulled the plug out of the socket. And then now we can give this a little bit of a heat. Okay, so that's starting to set now. <laughs> yes, Courtney, absolutely. Careful not to go blow the gold leaf again. I'm not playing with that anymore on a live. That was just hilarious. Well, it was hilarious, so maybe I should do it again. Um, but yes, if you missed my last live, Feel free to go back and have a look because I managed to blow the gold leaf embellishment absolutely everywhere. My floor is still decorated in it even though I've hoovered. Okay, so we have that now. Now I'm going to use a little bit of this white, whisper white um, ink. And it's a bit like Tipex, it's really gloopy. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. Okay, so make that a little bit damp. And then using a scrap piece of card, which I have here, I'm going to just flick that onto my background. Okay, so it's looking a bit like a starry sky now. That's it. So pop that to one side and then bring in our heat tool again. Okay, so let's see. Having a look at the comments, Joanna's asked, do I sketch out my ideas for cards before doing a live? Yes and no. So some days I do make a card completely beforehand. Other days, no, I, I, I have no idea what I'm going to make until we're live. Um, it depends how inspired I'm feeling and it depends how much time I've got. Um, but no, no, li no two lives are the same, as I'm sure my ladies that watch regularly will testify to. Okay. So there we have our kind of finished background piece. So you can see that's got a bit of a white speckle to it, and it's got um, those lovely dots that we have cut out. Now I want to add this piece of white to it. I'm just going to add that on now. Like so. And we know that's just a little bit smaller than our front piece. Okay, so now when I turn that over, you can see those lovely white bits popping through and then when we pop it back on the, the grey card I think it really does just all come together so now we can put that on our card like so what set was the die from? the die was from the Brilliant Wings dies so the one that the butterflies come with. And I have pre-cut my butterflies already. So this one here is one of the, it's cut from this large piece here. And all I've done is I've cut my card the size of the butterfly that I want to cut that out and then just run it through my in cutting machine. Okay, so rather than cutting lots of them out that I don't really want, so now I'm going to move that a little bit because we want that to... Well, let's just pop that there, shall we? Yeah. So I'm going to stick this down so that it's flat. Like so. Okay. And then we have our detailed butterfly which again comes from the brilliant wings dies as part of the 
Butterfly Bouquet collection. And I do feel really inspired by this set. I'm not usually a butterfly person, um, but yeah, this has really captured my creativity. And there's so much inspiration online about it as well. It's available until the 3rd of May as the suite. And then who knows if it's going to be in the annual catalogue or not. Who knows? If you're a demonstrator, you can find out on the 24th of March. So we can now add this to the background. going to hold that in place okay so there we have our butterfly and then all we've got left to do is our sentiment and our middle part so for our sentiment I have a piece of basic black cardstock <coughs> and the sentiment I'm using comes from the blossoms in bloom set stamp set that you'll find in the main catalogue so I'm going to use my Versamark again for this like the colour combinations. Thank you, Anne. It's really kind of you. I'm quite taken with this colour combination as well, actually. Stamping our sentiment. Looks pretty good. And then we're going to finish with a little bit of embossing. Must get my butterflies out. Yes, Sharon, you must. Love a butterfly now. I feel like we went a bit butterfly mad a few years ago and then I thought no I don't want any more butterflies and now these have come along and I need more butterflies. So let's just heat this. trim this down into a little strip <laughs> I think I need this butterfly set it is amazing Denise I'm not gonna lie it's pretty special and then I'm just gonna um, cut the ends so they're at a diagonal and then our sentiment is going to go just down there and I'm going to put that on some pads, some dimensionals. So I'm going to use the minis. Okay, and then that is going to go just there, like so. Okay, and then to finish the front, I'm just going to add a couple of gems. Now on this one, I added some of the opals, but I think I'm going to add pearls instead. Because I didn't feel that they were kind of white enough. Okay, so let's add a couple of these pearls. Yeah, these are better. These seem to stand out a bit more. I'm just going to add a few of these, like so. Okay, so that is our card front finished. So now I just need to add my piece inside the card. So then we'll take this down so it's the same size as that piece on the front. So let's take that down to 14.4, turn and cut at 10 centimeters okay. and then inside we can pop that in now I don't know about you but that looks that feels 
too white for inside but I don't really want to do much else so what I might do is I'm just going to do this in one of the corners so this one was pretty peacock This one is the Night of Navy. Just to bring in that colour a little bit. It felt like that bit was just too bright. people saying they like it thank you everybody that's really kind okay so just like so that is our finished card design tonight um really enjoys putting that together i felt like it was quite calm um, and quite a lot going on there and another way to showcase those lovely dyes um, so we have started with grey granite in our background and we've used pretty peacock to bring the colour in um, and then we've gone around the edge with knight of navy with our blending brushes um, I've added a little bit of ink splashing with the white ink in the background um, and I've used one of those fun dyes from the brilliant wings set that looks like this um, to cut those little holes and then we've stuck our butterfly on, added our sentiment, and then for the inside, we've just got a little bit that looks like this. So that's it for me this evening. Thank you so much for joining me and spending some of your weekend with me. I really do appreciate it. There's a slight change to schedule this week um, with my lives. I'm usually live on a Monday morning, but um, as the children are back at school tomorrow and we are allowed to meet up with a friend, I am off to see one of my best friends. Um, for a little walk outside I haven't seen her since I think November so that will be a real treat um, and I definitely something that I feel like I need at the moment so I'm off to see a friend tomorrow so I'll be live on Tuesday instead this week so Tuesday morning at 10 a.m Wednesday evening at half past eight and Thursday morning at 10 a.m um, you will find me here live with you guys crafting away so I'd love it if you could join me if you've got any questions about any of the products or techniques I've used please get in touch um, and if you wanted to purchase these items please let me know um, or you can shop online um, if you place your order online directly um, don't forget to use this month's hostess code and you will get a free gift from me next month so that's it for me I'm off to have a little tidy and then to have a nice early night because I feel quite tired so if I don't speak to you before have a wonderful week and I hope to speak to you very very soon bye for now everyone